interactive. <laughs> It's all totally real. No cartoon characters. You're shooting at real targets. Real zombies. It's like nonstop. It's acting, it's fighting, it's everything. An NBA player. <laughs> Gotta be a kid's dream. Hey. That was incredible. <laughs> it is my time! <laughs> I don't care. where you could go to Chinatown to get a tape where people fighting and all these old Chinese movies were being made here. Oh, all these hills. <laughs> all these hills are gonna kill us. I'm playing Yu Ching. Um, she's the guide who's guiding the player to complete the mission. She would very much like to complete the mission herself if she can, but she's injured, so she can't really do it. It's so much different than doing a feature film because doing a feature film, you at least get to do it with other actors and everything. But here, you know, basically I jump in and say one line and facing this camera who's actually our cameraman with this really long, funny lang. My fate is in your hands. Now, fight for it! My character is Earth, and Earth is the slowest but the strongest of the warlords. You gotta keep in the element of fun, I think, you know, and for this character to be just so out there with the with the mannerisms he does, the actions, even the point of grabbing one of my own men and using my own man to headbutt the player and throwing him out and just cracking up laughing. Coward! I can't blame you! <laughs> I'm gonna be surrounded by people in the bar, you know, so they'll all be cheering me on. So it'll be like just a normal Australian bar in uh, Sydney. <laughs> basketball player would play, you know, maybe an hour and a half a night. No! These guys are playing 10 hours a day. And it's uh, physically yeah, brutal. We average three of these a day. Yeah, three, at least three. It's real. What do you mean these aren't real people? That's what happens when you mess with the mad dog, baby. <laughs> wow, the zombies are just very, very zombie. Um, have you ever had a pantyhose over your head? What are you going to do to my lips? you going to do anything to my lips? Yeah. Ah, it becomes a black, black cavern. Yeah. It should be a black ah. cavern zombies come out. Those are pretty neat, though. Mm. 
That's looking good. Darkening the eyes. I think I'm cute. Do you think I'm attractive? Is this beginning to look really like uh, me? We are the new order! We're shooting all the zombies that you actually shoot at on screen for the game. Rid the earth of these pestilence, these zombies. And there's one right there, as you can see. Hi, buddy Daniels, who's being the next thriller. My number is 34661. We spent money on these things. My agent is Scott Devereux. We didn't give you enough money. <laughs> Yesterday, we were up real high with nothing below us, and it looks like that we're just flying. Oh. And that was an amazing thing because I've never been up on this bike, yeah. which is pretty scary. Good shooting, bro. Yeah, man. Lots of buzzard meat. How's that feel? Much better. Uh... Welcome to Hot Two's Barbecue Pit. Okay, I need more flame at that one if I can safely, please. Boy, we got everything cooking today, including me. <laughs> Hot Two was an ancient warrior who went up into the mountains to become the leader of his tribe by uh, anointing himself in a volcano. There's no heat in the center. And he got a little twisted in the fire, so when Hatu returned, all Hatu wanted to do was fight. Sometimes Chuck gets excited and gives me a full one. When we've done five or six takes, the adrenaline's flowing out a little bit, I mean, because most of them are ex-fighters or kickboxers, and they uh, tend to belt the hell out of it quite often. Pumpkin cam. <laughs> we do like uh, a 15-second fight scene to the camera, and we work it out on... Mm -hmm. <laughs> just call the card. And so it tells you basically what we're going to be doing each second. Showing uh, like the elbow strike, the core grabbing, the punch, everything else. Yeah, second by second. What you're doing is 15 seconds We have seconds to leave windows open so the player can attack us. So if we don't have our timing right, the programmer can't put it into the video. I am Ace. I'm the uh, person that the actual person playing the video game is going to control. Ace is going to beat everybody. All oh, these guys don't think so, but Ace is the best. He's got to win. It's an incredible experience seeing yourself on the computer and knowing you're going to be in a video game your whole life and going head up against Scotty Pippen and stuff like that. So <laughs> it's, it's fun. This is crazy, man. <laughs> no, you don't have to let me. You don't have to let me. That's fine. And you don't have to let me. And You know, this is like real life. I mean, I'm out on the court. Well, we're gonna be over here eventually. The next shot for 180 to go against me with the computer. You know, that show is tough. The cameraman is doing a great job of keeping up. A lot better than some defenders I've faced. Every stride of his is about six of mine. So, trying to keep up. I had approached them about getting involved in doing music for their video games. So I had to write uh, an urban, hip-hop driven rap song. Here we go. Respect. What you wanna get, boy, get. Respect. So how do you earn? Respect. Welcome to the city. The slams with no pity. Hope you ready. Slam, slam, slam city. So bring your ego. Can't wait to do ya. He sounds really good. I was surprised. He must have been practicing like when he's taking a shower at home. <laughs> he's like a closet rapper. <laughs> what you wanna get? Wanna get? So how do you earn? Step. What you gonna get? Step. What you gotta get? Step. I guess you don't know until you try something if you can do it or not. No harm in trying. Cause on the court, I'll be done. Like no love. So bring your ego. Can we do yeah? <laughs> I'm trying to not evenly space them. <laughs> So they're not so obvious. 
Move it maybe even a little farther. Well, like see, there's a hole between those the two bro, rocks. The there's a hole between those two rocks. Okay. There. Right there. Yes. Hold it a sec. Um, Tom, hold it. There's one tree. The 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 whole tree trunk is painted green. See it. Oreo cookie cut in half, painted brown, glued on the outside. <laughs> Little cannon stand with a cannon on it. <laughs> Cute. Isn't it? We're shooting in a parking lot here, and we tilted the whole set uh, about 15 degrees, so that our fake horizon would be just above that rooftop of the building back there. Um, unfortunately, we didn't take into account that ladder there. <laughs> So we were setting up the shot yesterday and we realized that ladder. So I went over to the owner of the building and asked him if we could uh, do something with that ladder. Well, he was pretty freaked out thinking I was going to take his ladder and I said, no, no, we're going to put an island on it. You're going to put an island on my ladder? What does that mean? It's really neat. He's painting black holes on the hole there. And he's, uh, these are places where zombies can emerge from. Lots of places for zombies to come out. Well, I think it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Got one little thing of light coming. Ah, it'll be all right. Do we have any more skeletons? Let's throw a couple more in, or just some bones and stuff. Uh, well, yesterday it was boiling. It's so hot. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm getting cooked. The diet raining. Okay. Hold that for three beats for me, and then, then bring it up. That'd be great. All right, you want me to? Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. Give me the difference between Pardon me, I'll call you right shooting there. a video game and shooting... There isn't any. There really isn't any difference. We have all these variations, the variation one, two, three, four, so whoever's playing the game never knows what's going to come up on the screen next, and neither do we. Depending on what the player does, he'll see something different, and he'll see a different sequence of shots and a different sequence of scenes. And so the scenes need to fit together in modular pieces so that they can be put together in any way during the show. We had them starting on the cross, we had it starting on a skeleton, starting on a wall, and we had them clean coming around the corner, so. If you could think of any more, you put them in. Yes. Sir. Excuse me, just for one minute. Yes. Is the silk in the proper position, yes, sir? Yes, it needs to oh, be higher. Oh, thank you. Now. Thank you. Well, it needs to be deep higher. Deep. Sorry. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Get on with it. All right. Ready? Ed, action. Winston, if we're supposed to be avoiding corpses, what are we doing in a graveyard? Yeah, they came here to raise the dead. We cannot let them do that. There will be too many of them to handle. We still breathe and girl, thanks to him. Watch his yards, partner. Tell, tell them the difference between working on a film and working on interactive video game. The difference What's between the working experience? on a film and a, in an interactive game uh, is none, according to the cameraman. He still treats it like it's gone with the wind. <laughs> Boom, 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 boom. 
Uh, Paul, the wire, what do you need, the color? This side here, the spray black. What's really amazing is that the fact that we're here in Hong Kong, and for me, when I grew up, I saw a lot of martial arts films made on Shaw Brothers lots, and we're actually here, and we're utilizing the same technology of the wires and cables, you know, and using the, the actual sets of a lot of these old, old kung, kung fu films. The wire work is, is amazing. I mean, just, I mean, I tried that for the first time, and I'm like, what the hell's going on here? <laughs> here we go, and, and action, one, two, three. They had a sale at Kmart. That's what it was. <laughs> we all went shopping together and we got it done. Look at uh, Keith Ryan's arm. A lot of people don't know it, but but Keith, as a youngster, was dropped. Keith? My mom dropped me on my head. That's where he got his air sense. You doubling for him? Or yeah, they're doubling for me on some of the stuff. I, I mean, I could have done this stuff myself, but... You just keep going, guys. <laughs> oh, man. Well done. I wish I could have done that on the real court. I would have been a pro for sure. <laughs> Diagonal. Should I take my sunglasses off? Hey, hey, hey! No cameras! Get out of here! Good shot right there, look at that. Oh. He's turning into a zombie right now as we speak. He's extremely hard to hit. What if you do, he just laughs anyway. I can't believe that I'm not paying them to play this game. Why don't you get a real job? Before we had any other testers on this, I had 160 hours on it. And now we have two more, and we're getting more next week. It'll freeze on you. And they've got almost 40 hours on it each. A character in the wrong part of the screen. So that's at least another 120 by the end of this week. They're fixing that. Really, um, there's cool people. There's, you know, hip sort of you know, uh, alternative music listening, ex-punk rockers who just sit around and don't do anything but watch TV or play video games. Oh, just a victim of circumstance. Right. I'm just trying to get back at my parents. <laughs> <laughs> These are the bug sheets. Uh -huh. Hardness rating sheets. We don't want to kick the player's butt too hard at the beginning of the game. Right. Indeed. <laughs> this year it's, you're in a basketball game, okay, now I want to fade left. Next year, it'll be, I want to slow down my dribble a little bit, now I'll give it a head fake. Kids keep pushing you. You're gonna give it to them. You want some of this? You got it. We've created a universe. So you can go in and sort of, you know, blow things up. Do things that you could never do in your real life. We're gonna create the movie studio of the 21st century. Radical, dude, radical. <laughs>